Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How do courts verify community service hours? So, you're wondering how courts make sure you've actually done your community service hours? Well, let's break it down. First, when you're assigned community service, you need to find an approved nonprofit organization or a place that the court accepts for this purpose. Not all organizations qualify, so it's crucial to check with your court or probation officer to ensure the place you choose is okayed by them. Once you've found the right place, you'll need to keep track of every hour you work. This includes the date, time, and a brief description of what you did. The organization will usually provide this information on their letterhead, which is a formal way of verifying your hours, five. When you complete your hours, the organization will sign off on the documents to confirm that you did the work. This is typically done by a supervisor or manager who oversaw your volunteer work. The letter should include the organization's address, phone number, and the supervisor's contact information. Courts often require this written proof to be submitted to them. It's essential that the proof is accurate and includes all the necessary details, such as confirming that you were not paid for the work. Probation officers or court officials may also verify your hours by contacting the organization directly. They might ask for confirmation of the dates and hours you worked, so it's important that the organization keeps accurate records, five. If you're having trouble completing your hours on time, it's best to communicate with the court. Explain your situation, and they might give you an extension. Failing to complete your hours without a good reason can lead to more severe consequences, like additional community service or even jail time, four. So to sum it up, courts verify community service hours through detailed records from approved organizations, signed off by supervisors, and sometimes by direct verification with the organization. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.